But the Lord reveals a pathway in the spirit. And I asked him to name it. And what he called it was that he called them the corridors of sick. In Matthew chapter 7. The Bible gives us the protocols of coming into feedbacks in God. That there is the protocol of asking. And when you ask, you will receive. Until we seek, we will not find. In the day that we really are willing to find out the wisdom behind the current activity. What the enemy seeks to achieve. What God seeks to achieve. We will need to come through the corridors of seeking. And the word of the Lord to us tonight. Is that the gates into the corridors of seeking are open. But many are still too busy. You can take the scriptures off. I was sharing during the week. With a precious one. That. People used to claim that they were work busy. And like I shared on that write-up on social media, now you have the time. A lot of people have complained that they cannot engage God. A lot of people have complained that they cannot settle down to read the word of God. Surprisingly, heaven has allowed that we come into a vacation. But the truth is we still don't have time. A lot still complain about time because we have given ourselves to other things. Activities. People are still busy. I was sharing during the week and it's something I've been doing for seven, eight, nine hours. I switch off my phone. Somebody was asking me why I do that. I tried to reach you. I dropped messages for you. You didn't read them. And I had to tell the young man, I don't live by what works on the social media. I don't live by what works on the social media. There are times to be around. There are times to be away. Because the phone, the phone, someone was saying during the week, say, ah, we bless God for data. Because if we don't have data, then it means that we'll be bored. You said you were bored with work. You wanted God. Now you have time with God. But our phones have become another God. And people keep scrolling on WhatsApp status to status. They keep running those cycles till the day ends. Facebook with all kinds of postulations. You need to know how much people have earned on Facebook. Because we keep going to watch. You need to know how much money YouTube is making. It's not about the money. Yes, they, they provide a service. But there's an obsession to just have knowledge upon knowledge. And people are not taking out time to hear what God is saying. Habakkuk says, I will stand upon my works and set myself on the rampart. That I may see what he's saying. God is speaking. And he wants to bring visionary perspective to that which he's speaking. But man is still too busy. Once has God spoken. Even twice, but man perceived it not. The counsels of God are not far from us, but the people are still too busy. I hear the voice of the Spirit echoing what Jesus said to the disciples. Come apart for a while. I want to recommend in this season that we maybe re-download or reassess that sermon that was preached towards the end of last year, Retreat Summons. And we begin to you know, bring to perspective again the tokens of a spiritual retreat. What are the things that a man engages in that can be summed up to be to, as a retreat? What are the feedbacks progressively of a man who is in retreat? Very essential. Because the plague will soon be over. And what that means is that this free time will disappear very soon whatever we have made out of this free time will be evident for all to see so the admonition of Paul to Timothy comes out strong again tonight meditate upon these things give thyself totally to them that your profiting may be seen by all remember that God is not mocked it's a verse of scripture that we have left in the, in the, in the, in the areas of money but the Bible says that let God is not mocked. Whatsoever a man sows, he will reap. If a man sows sparingly, he will also reap sparingly. If a man sows bountifully, he will also reap bountifully. 
So let every man be instructed on sowing. What are you investing into this season that you hope to reap? Some will reap shame.